We Got This Africa, proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve to be well. <laughs> Girl, listen. Twenties. It's a time of our life where we get to make a lot of decisions that can decide the course of our lives. When I was 20, I think I made some really cool decisions and some not so cool ones. Today on We Got This Africa, I'm going to be chatting with two of my friends who are in their 30s and will share with you six things that we wish we knew before we turn 30. So if you're watching this and you're in your 20s, you just might want to take notes. My name is Nash Shakur and this is We Got This Africa. What are some of the decisions you made in your 20s that you look back on and wonder, hmm, I wish I knew better. Today I've got Emily and Ashaki and we're going to be talking about the many decisions we've made in our lives yeah. <laughs> and the things we wish we knew before oh, yes. we turn 30. So yes. I'm 32, 32 right? I think you are, yes. Yeah, I'm 32 right? <laughs> How old are you? 36. Oh, you're old. Yes, I am. <laughs> old and fabulous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you are? 31. Oh, you're such a I'm baby. a newbie. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. Thank you. How are you guys Thank doing? you. Real well. Good. Okay, so we've got this bowl here mm -hmm. that contains um, Our decisions. some <laughs> pieces of paper. <laughs> and on yes. these pieces of paper, we have written some of the things we wish we knew mm -hmm. before we turn 30. Mm -hmm. So uh, j just before we go into our bowl, do you think you had uh, a fabulous... 20 to 30? Um, well, it was fun, mm -hmm. but it wasn't so fabulous. There are things I know now that if I had known then, it would have been amazing. Mm. Yeah, James Gardner. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't I, get I'll it. I'll <laughs> How about you? 20 My. to 29. Very fun. I was just chilling. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. I, yeah. I wish I could no. say same. I know. Yeah. Right. Twenty to twenty-nine. I was working so much. Yeah. You were there for twenty-five yeah. to <laughs> yes. You were from there for like twenty-four to yes. Hey, to now. you were there like tw from twenty-three. Wait. Yeah. I've been yeah. There for some long. some some time ago yeah. till now. You were so, very young. Yeah. Well, I was. And I was, I was quite babies. old. I was quite. And old, I thought yeah. she was so old because she <laughs> traveled the world, been to Paris, hey. been to Rome, hey, and you've Babylon. Your life. And, and I, I, she had really tried, lived. Yeah. And she was speaking impeccable French all over the place. Hey, hey, hey. Comment ça va? Ça va très bien. Et toi? Ah, you've got a. <laughs> She's got all this <laughs> and everything. Okay, so now we're going to reach in here and then we shall discuss the things we wish we knew before we turn 30. Mm -hmm. And yes. I hope this is fun. Now, here's the best part we don't know who wrote what. Yeah. yeah. And we'll never know. Yeah. So, and there goes. Dun, 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 dun. You start oh. first. Eh. Okay, let me see. Let's uh, see. Let's see. Let's see. I wish I traveled more. Yeah. I wish I had traveled more. I agree with this one because I wish I had traveled more too. Traveling is something I really like to do. Mm -hmm. And I only discovered that I think when I turned like 30 or oh. 29. Okay. And I was actually just traveling local. So at about 29, I called my friends, a bunch of my friends who would like to travel to me. I said, okay, I'm going to Kakum Park. Who would like to go? Yeah. And a bunch of them said they would like to go. So I hired a bus and then we went and I did a canopy wow. walk and it was so thrilling. And after that, I've traveled at least twice a year, mm -hmm. though local. I have traveled twice a year. Like, <laughs> I still have traveled twice a year. Yeah, so that's important. I did the Fajato. Yeah. I, I climbed, I've climbed the Fajato about three or four times. Take yeah. once. <laughs> and that's enough for me. How I, I haven't at all. So. I think I died three times. <laughs> I had Before glucose, you get to the I had top. glucose <laughs> so many times while climbing. So that's just enough for yeah. me. But if you're a Ghanaian in Ghana, yeah. You should, you climb, should climb a you should climb, climb, yes. Yeah, because really the highest point of, of yes. the, okay, the country. Okay, so it's on my bucket list now, Great. officially. But, but what do you think about, uh, I wish I traveled more? Well, traveling is not something that was on my mind when I was in my 20s at all. I mean, I think I traveled once to Nigeria to party. And, yeah. then, <laughs> and then back to you Ghana. You traveled for a party. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a weekend. Yeah. We just traveled to go and chill and then nice. we came back. How was it? It was, it was worth good. it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but apart from that, like, I'm not crazy about the American life or, you know, traveling for greener pastures. So it's not something that's... But for now, I think I want to 
just for the adventure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think it's something that comes when you're 30, like, I yeah. need to see the world. Yes. True. How yes. about you? For me, I've always loved to travel, always. I think internally, I've traveled all the regions in Ghana. Oh, wow. Yes. Or the 16 or 10? 16, actually. Oh, wow. I've done all. Yeah. And the 20 in future. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah. You never know. Yes. Um, in my early 20s, I went to school in Paris. So the dream was to do a whole Euro tour. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, oh, wow. it's pretty cheap to do that. Yeah. But I didn't get to do it for some reasons. So, yeah. Get pregnant. No, I didn't get pregnant. Okay. I didn't. I was, I was a very good girl. Still yeah. am. Still yeah. Am very good. Yeah. If my mom is watching, very good. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't get to travel <laughs> as much as I wanted to. Yeah. And that's something I still regret. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we have life. So Paris, yeah. And we've been planning a trip. We have. Forever. forever. We just haven't gone. <laughs> Where? Well, we've been so planning. In fact, we started from a Dubai uh, uh, travel plan that never happened but mm -hmm. then individually yes people decided to go <laughs> you know how you create a group chat that we are traveling in in december in january well, right? and then people and just people are talking in january talking talking <laughs> by march people don't respond no much. one is minding you by the time we get to february the group is quiet yeah by december one person is like so will it happen so if it's not yeah. happening what do you so do what's, that's the, you, go, that's, you do that's a solo trip right only one so goes, yeah. okay your turn my turn let's pick this okay okay <laughs> Should I? No, well, let's, let, let's wait for Ellie. Let's see. Right. Uh, I wish I had taken more care of my body and my skin especially. Now, this is very true for me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish true? I had done that. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, when you're growing older. Yeah. yeah right yeah. now, I'm the oldest here, so I can say that. <laughs> yes. When you're growing older, the skin is not like it used to be. Yeah. And you wish you had done so much more. Now they say, oh, drink a lot of water. Mind your business. Mind your edges. You know, all of that. Mm -hmm. And if I had known this back then, it would have been more helpful for me. Now. I tell you, do you know, minding your business is so good for your skin. It Honestly, is, actually. Like, I'm not is. talking about people's issues. No, 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 you just like, all the acne go like away. Your stress uh, levels I are so you. low. You can just chill. Your skin <laughs> yeah. will flourish. I tell you, just so, like two days of talking about other people. <laughs> You know, <laughs> ten pimples. Shows, shows Do you know this? <laughs> Sorry, what so are like, you talking what about? That? No, no, no. Uh, I'm just drinking my but water. But you have a, a skincare routine. My tea. I actually don't have any strict skincare routine. I was telling her earlier. Yes, yeah. yes. I, I really don't. It's just sheer butter and maybe some coconut oil here and there. Nothing special. But you special, have good really. skin. Yeah, mm. thank you. It's glowing. Oh, tell me I can it. imagine if you were doing a whole 360 thing. I know, right? Yes. Now I'm going to do it so that, you know, I glow some more. <laughs> <laughs> you have really good skin. Thank uh, you. How about you? So, yes, in my 20s, well, my weight fluctuated. So mm -hmm. then when it comes to body image, there were times I was bigger than usual and I wish I was smaller. But then again, I'll get smaller and then it will go back to normal. Right. And I've always had good skin. Oh, so yes. to speak but i've also always been a skincare enthusiast so i'm always like slapping something on my face or doing a facial so right. i think in that area i think i'm good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i yeah. can see it your skin yeah. is always popping thank yes your skin you. is always thank popping, you, thank you, always thank popping. Thank i remember one time so, so here's a story i don't know if i can share but um about six years ago ashaki came to my house once i was like how's your baby and she said i, I don't have a baby <laughs> and i said you don't have a baby she said, no. I said, I saw you on tickets to the street. You were pregnant. And she said, no, I was just big. <laughs> Ooh, la la. Yes. Okay. Look, it was the most, I felt so yeah. terrible. For, do you remember? I, I remember now. I felt so I remember terrible now. for saying that. Now I can imagine. Yeah. So when you just like, yeah. mentioned that your, your, like, your body, your... your my metabolism is just weird. Right. Yeah. So if I eat right, I can lose weight. But if I decide to you know go off and eat anyhow then mm -hmm. it will also show so oh, okay yeah yeah so i, so I, I, I just i just remember that yeah it was it was a very i'm so sorry i asked you that question it's okay i don't <laughs> <actually> remember <laughs> until I you said i don't remember i'm so sorry <laughs> talking but about metabolism i had a great one till i hit 30. oh wow and then yeah i, I could eat anything <laughs> and everything at any time now not so much. <laughs> and you know, you it, it will just so hit you it once. Does. It, it does. It doesn't hit you. Like, what happened? I wasn't like this. You know, you expect to keep going like yeah. that. Yeah. It doesn't work. I've always good. been a fitness enthusiast and I know exactly what to yeah, do. I just to get my, my weight you. snatched and get my hip looking a certain side. Listen, side. Yeah. And get my, my I have back a story. Act, but, oh, <laughs> you, yeah. in Legon. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I went, I went to the gym one one Saturday. I just decided, let me go to the gym. <laughs> and there was Miss Naasho <laughs> working out. Yes. And then I don't know what happened. We were in a group this together. Like eight we, years ago. Yes. And then she decided, oh, she will lead the exercise. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> the kind of crunches and exercise, and she was doing it like. Uh, so uh, effortlessly. Uh, like, I was dying, like I was out of breath, and she was doing the most. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I remember that day so. <laughs> At the back of the back. I was back eyeing you. Day. I don't know if she saw. Oh, I noticed. <laughs> like, I, I don't think she will look at you. You are with someone. You look at your friend. You know? yeah. And I then this is just to be like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so I've always been a, a fitness enthusiast and I enjoy fitness. And so if, mm -hmm. if I want to look a certain way for a certain dress, especially for Miss Malika, yes. if I was supposed to wear a dress that was crop or something, right. but like for the next one week, I know how many crunches to do, I mean, squats to do to get my butt looking right, my stomach looking and right. And it's come for lessons. Yeah. But Don't I tell old. you, over the last two years, eh? <laughs> And like I've been doing the most. Oh, I've has. never worked out as much as I have, but I don't, I never get back to like how I used to be. You know, my waist has never gone back to 28. My waist used to be 28 and my hip 42. And I liked it that way. Mm -hmm. Now, the smallest my waist gets to now is like 30. And even that, eh? <laughs> the struggle. Like, the struggle. Great. Now Thank is the you, kind of person be. who will yeah. invite you out on a date to ah. go to the gym. <laughs> Oh, now, where so are we going to hang out? Oh, she did that with so Where are we going to hang out? Let's go to the gym. Friday night. Dance class. Yes. Friday night. Oh, my God. Friday let's night. Let's go out. Now says, oh, let's go to the gym. I was like, oh, who does that? Oh, so <laughs> these guys said they want to go out to dinner. They were like, oh, we need to go out on Friday night. But we can't just go to dinner and then come back home. We should do something else. I was like, yeah, we should definitely do something else. So there's this dance class at Fit Trip. Do you want to yeah. come? And why you said it before? She grabbed us there. But we had, we had fun, right? We had fun, we did. Yeah. But we ate after. So, yeah, and then yeah. we went to eat a lot of dead animals at... Um, <laughs> Pot uh, belly. Pot belly. Wow. <laughs> Pot belly, yeah. Wow. It, was, yeah. It, was, it was really nice. Was All right. Great. Okay, so did you pick... No. no okay, so you pick yours and then... We'll Shh. Okay, this one. Yep. Okay. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I wish I had traveled more. I think hmm. we already... Okay, so I guess how many of us are writing this? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's something we yeah, can all agree on. Yeah, I get to pick common. another one. Yes, yes pick yes, another please. one. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. I wish I had dated more guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, for me, I... Yeah, in the dating scene, I have dated... I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Drink to that. yeah. Had, yeah, yeah. Let's drink to that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So in my twenties, mm -hmm. I explored. Nice. If I met you, we had a vibe. You were a good person. We would date. Yeah. So, I think yeah. in that area, I'm good. I yeah. well, I, I don't I, think. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, so it's something that I, I learned about recently, mm -hmm. that it's important to date so many people. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, it's interesting. You know where I heard this from? Where? Councillor Luchard. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Councillor yeah. Luchard, <laughs> I mean, he said that, uh, it's one of the things I just agree with yeah. him on, the fact mm -hmm. that, you know, um, so let me tell you the story. I was with my friend who was planning her wedding recently, and I went yeah. to her home and we're mm -hmm. chilling, and she said that she went out to dinner with some friends. So one of them had been dating her boyfriend for 15 years wow. and they were getting married and everyone on the dinner table were applauding her like oh my god you did so well but she was know. like what no, no. you've been dating you're 35 so you've been dating this guy since you were 20 15 years and you are happy about it and it became an argument on the dinner table mm -hmm. and she was trying to explain to the girl that leave the guy yeah. because your life you don't know you don't even know what you like. Yeah. Every, you don't you, know yourself. You don't know yourself. You don't. You haven't discovered you, who you are. You don't know if you like. If, if, okay, so if this guy is maybe um, tall, you don't even might like short guys. Because yeah. you've never been with a short guy. Exactly. Yeah. You, you, you don't know if you might like. And, and I can't help but agree. I agree as well. Yeah, I, can, I, I can't really help do. but agree. It's, it's, a, it's a very, it's one of those things where like when you years. meet your, the love of your life, you believe that, okay, this is it. Yeah. Like, but then 15 years. That's a long time to be with one person. And, and dating like is just getting to know, know different someone. people. Yeah, getting and to different know people. Them, you know, they bring out a certain part of exactly. you that you would not know existed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So they when you date, you other, yes. And I wish I had dated more people in mm -hmm. my 20s. I mm -hmm. didn't. Do you, do you, okay, so you don't agree with this 15 year shit? No, 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 no. 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 That's crazy. <laughs> Me too, I don't agree with That's crazy. Years. That's too it's, long. it's so long. Because I let It's so long. Okay. Like, that's 15. Yes, wow. Yeah, that's like a whole, a teenage, whole lifetime. Teenage, yeah. yes. Person. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. well, when we come back, we'll read more comments from our little bowl on We Got This Africa Today. We're talking about the things that we wish we knew when we were in our 20s. Do stay tuned. <laughs>
Choosing the right oil makes all the difference. That is why I always choose Frytol. Mm. At Wilma, where Frytol is made, each and every worker wakes up with you in mind. Really? And for the millions of other homes too. There, the experts ensure every bottle of Frytol is rich with great tastes that creates memories to last their lifetime. Frytol is a cholesterol-free oil fortified with vitamin A. Now I know why you cook with Frytol. Yes, Dad. Enjoy great tasting meals with Frytol. Frytol. Love your food. Love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. You're watching We Got This Africa. I'm hanging out with Ashaki and Emily. And we've got a bowl that has all of our confessions. <laughs> no, the things we wish we knew before we turn 30. We've gone round once. And so um, I'm going to dig in now and see what we have now. All right. I wish I learned how to love myself. Put myself first, Elia. Wow, this hit, this hit me. This hit me. I, 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 yeah, I agree too. I wish, I wish I had learned how to love myself. I think I was so invested in work and the future, like figuring out, okay, what am I going to be? How is my future going to be? What kind of home am I going to live in? What can I do for my parents? I need to do so much for my mom. I need to do so much for myself. I need my sisters to be able to look at big sister and say, hey, she's, I, I think I was so absorbed in doing that, that I think I didn't even, I didn't even know the things I liked. Mm -hmm. I, I also agree with this because I think that for me it wasn't more of work but more of giving myself timelines. You know, when you're growing up you feel like, okay, at this age I should have accomplished that. Maybe be done with school, found a job, married, buy a car. Okay, the married part, I've not always been so big on marriage so I wouldn't say that for myself but it was always in the pipeline, yes, in the mix as well. But for me it would be giving myself timelines and trying so hard to achieve them. You know, when you're working, you, you want to save so much money. Yeah. You want to be able to do stuff for your parents, for mm -hmm. your siblings, for yourself. You know, so all of that covers up who you really are and you don't really get to know yourself mm -hmm. that much. So yeah. I yeah. certainly agree with this, to love myself more, yeah. get to know myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been great, really. Yes, definitely the same for me. Well, I'm an empath, so I like... It's not like I like, I just happen to feel what people are feeling and right. I always put myself in their shoes and I, I end up like absorbing all their pain and I love hard. So in life, I've just always put people above, above me in terms of I will love you, I'll do like, I'll be there for you, but then I neglect myself and I neglect my needs and always sort of put myself second. It's just now that I'm um, realizing I need to give myself the grace that I so freely give to other people. I need to give myself a break as well when I'm yeah. tired. So I'm just learning that. What does it really mean to love yourself in your way? What's that? Um, I think loving yourself, it shows in the boundaries that you create for yourself. Yeah. So learning to say, no, I can't do this. Yes. Even when you want to do it, but you're not capable and you won't kill yourself at the True. expense of your mental, yourself, yeah. yes, at the expense of your mental health, your finances, True. you know, like learning to just choose yourself sometimes yes. because you need it. Very true. And yeah. I didn't know how to say no. Yeah. yeah. I was always a yes person. Yes. So you ask me, do this. At the and I'll say yes. Of, yeah. But that's me going through a lot of stress to get to just do to what get, yeah. just to get to do yeah. what you want yeah and i neglect myself so i definitely align with that as well yeah yeah yes. your turn my turn your i turn. pick this yes so this says i wish i followed my guts more guts <laughs> yes very true okay i wish i had <laughs> you know what they say about the instinct mm -hmm. especially the female instinct oh female what's that <laughs> 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 you know, we, we have this sixth sense. Mm. We do. Uh, you read about it and all of that, but it does exist. Yeah. And sometimes you think about something, um, you tend to overthink, mm -hmm. but it is true. No, but I think it's got here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, hello. <laughs> Hi, hello. Yes, we overthink stuff, 
but at the base of it there is some truth to it yeah. mm -hmm. and so if you follow that you might have um, um, gone off certain parts that you'd have followed yeah. on yeah. a normal basis yeah. so yes I think that following my guts or my instincts would have helped me more than it did yeah, yeah. me guts. too yeah okay <laughs> it's like everything that's let's say every weird or bad thing that happened to me I sort of sensed it, so before, it coming before so let's say if i had a client i think you relate to this <laughs> so let's say if i had a client tomorrow yeah. i'm a makeup artist and then somebody said oh let's go to this place and i calculated the time and i knew that hmm, i won't get enough sleep and calculating the traffic i might not make it i should probably not go but i should sleep <laughs> but then you're in your 20s yeah. and sometimes time you're down party. so <laughs> yeah you go and then yeah it happens so yeah or sometimes you just meet a friend and you just know that this person is not good for it's you. Not good for it's not good for yeah. you. Even with the guys the, that we the, dated. The vibe. Yes. Yeah. It's not it just good for work. you. But then yeah. maybe they are so cool. They are so tall. They are so handsome. And then you do it. Yeah. All these tall yeah. guys now. I know, right? I know. <laughs> so, so, so you know, this is totally off topic. But why do you all just like tall guys? I'm tall. Do you like tall guys? I do. Do you like tall guys? Yes. You're not tall. Yes. So, yeah. so, <laughs> so well, for me. So the short guys, what's up? Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, really? The five threes and the, <laughs> the fives. Oh, <laughs> the, the fives. What's up? I'm sure. I'm sure they have a special they have, someone yeah. out there who. I also mean, likes Kevin Hart. Them. Look I at Kevin Hart. Right? That's so special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I know a, a number of short guys. Oh, with tall girls. Okay, Kevin Hart. For me, did well, it happen or was a girl's it preference? For like, him. I, I, I can't <laughs> say. I can't say for a fact. Okay, let's talk about guts. <laughs> my following my guts. I I, I don't know. I, I think, I don't know, do I have any? Because I'm always really like calculating, like every situation, yeah. I like to look at it, pros and cons. I actually sometimes do write things out, like checklist, like, okay, how does this help me? How does this hurt me? And I actually fill that out. And then I choose whichever outweighs. Like that, that's, 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 your that, gut. that's your, the way I've actually gone gut, about you, decision making. Yeah, so you've worked with that since. Yeah, I for guess. a very long time. So I, time. I, but, um, but some people just sense things about people, like yes. my mom. Yes. Yeah. your name, Yeah. True for God. It will happen. It will you know, happen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it's I don't there. have that, but I just maybe you do. You just haven't figured it out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, is it my turn? Yes. yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Mm. I wish I knew more about sex and intimacy, and also understood my body well. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 Drum roll. Let's take it out. No, it okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So for that, yes, I, well, day in, day out, we're getting to know our bodies. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So I don't think that, I think it's a never ending, you know, thing that we are all getting to know. But in my 20s, yes. I think I know some things about sex, and I think I know some things about Get my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, and so, but we can we can always learn more. Yeah, yeah. I, I I remember doing the stage play. I think I was it was just about after Perfect Picture, so I was about mm -hmm. nineteen or twenty, right. mm -hmm. and it was called the Vagina Monologues. Yes, did I you ever see the yes, Vagina Monologues? No, yeah, never. No. I saw it a number of times on campus. The Vagina Monologues is a play you have it. to see as a woman. Is yes. this showing again? <laughs> So to stage the vagina monologue, you need all kinds of rights. You know, um, wow. it's by Eve Ensler. And I was a character in the play. And Emily Ashaki, it was during that play that I learned yes. and heard and experienced stuff. When I first read the script, I said, I'll do it. <laughs> I cannot stand on stage and open my mouth and say these things. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on with Lydia Forsen, right? Yeah. And Lydia was like, ah, now why? Why? You don't have sex. I said, no. And she was like, <laughs> she said, no, this is nothing. You should be able to. So um, the director was Nanama Echam. And then... You know, so we'll do the script, we'll read the lines, and then I'm like, Lydia, we're going to tell this on stage. My parents will be in the auditorium. <laughs> She's like, it's nothing, honey. It's just uh, facts about the vagina. Yeah. And then, like, th there's a part about the script that talks about um, knowing yourself mm -hmm. and the fact that the average woman has never seen her vagina before. Do you know that's true? Like, the average woman has never seen it. They, they don't pay attention to it. Because to see to it, it, first of all, you need to They've have never a seen. You yes. need to have a mirror. Yes. You have to place in a certain position. Yes. For you to be able, and you need, in fact, you need a right have lighting. Have you done it? Otherwise, you, have you oh, done I did the vagina oh, yes. monologues yes. like yes. sixteen times. So, <laughs> like you, you, and you have to have the right lighting, mm -hmm. the right position, privacy, and all kinds of things for you to be able to actually see the thing. 
Because you're just walking around, you can't see it. You can't. You can't see it, no. right? Yeah. You, you can't you see can't. it. You just so you need them. to have to a take look. the time, sit, actually check to it out. Actually have a look. And know that, okay, this is what my vagina looks like. like exactly. Yes. So yeah. actually doing that play was the beginning of a lot of things that I learned. Like, hmm. Okay, there you go. I see. <laughs> about the number of nerve cells the vagina has compared to really? the penis, which has just... Yeah, just like just a, <laughs> you know, but like the vagina has like so many, and and so like it was during that play that I actually learned a lot of about of things about the woman, female sexuality, and the mm. fact that we need to pay attention, learn about these things, even if you want to have um, um good intimacy with your partner, right. mm -hmm. you need to know first. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going I'll to clap drink. To I'm that. going to yes. drink. Yeah, clap me that. Cheers. Cheers. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, I certainly agree. I mean, if you do not know your body or you do not understand your body well, how are you going to tell anyone else what, what to like. do to your body? Because, like it or not, sex is to be enjoyed. It's not only for procreation. Preach! Also not yes. to be endu endured. Exactly. Preach it. Also not to be so endured. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Exactly. So in so your sad. 20s, you do not know your body. Yeah. You do not understand yourself. Yeah. I mean... You're doing what the guy says to do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of young guys, like it or not, watch a lot of pornography. And they think that once they meet you, you what, should be able uh, to yeah. do everything mm -hmm. they see, experiment everything. And it doesn't work like that. Yeah. So you have to understand your body, understand what you like, to so even know what positions you can do True. or not do. Yeah. So yes, I wish I knew that when I was younger. Correct wow. for three points. Okay. <laughs> uh, who's then? My turn. Yes. My turn, my turn, my turn, yes, my turn. turn, my turn. Take this one. Okay, I wish I did not put so much premium on friendships. Hmm, let me see. I actually, I'm glad I put a lot of premium on friendships because I've had some really good friendships. Um, I have. I've had some of the best friendships. Um, it's when, when I pray and I thank God, I thank God for the friends that he put in my life. Mm. I think I get really invested in relationships and I don't leave my friends. Yeah. <laughs> so the friends that I have, are friends that you've had so here's the deal i choose my friends right mm -hmm. i never let my friends choose me like when i go somewhere and i meet people i decide that emily will be my friend at charter house <laughs> <laughs> like that. you know i just like, i like to choose my friends yeah. so and then when i think that this person should be my friend like you did my ma makeup on my wedding day and yeah. i've never like i've never gone anywhere else like even if i go i come back that's yeah. good so yeah. the point is that when I, I i meet people that i think you know I can be friends with. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of just stick with them. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, well, sometimes, you know, friends will do weird things to you, but I treat my friendships like, like family relations. Like when your right. sister hurts you, you can't break up with your sister and say, my sister has <laughs> done this bad thing, so she'll never be my sister again. <laughs> you know, you apologize, you move on, you continue, unless they are, they are bad for your mental health, yeah. or they are bad for your life path, exactly. or they're yeah. just bad for you. Toxic. Yeah, toxic. or they're toxic. just toxic for you. Exactly. But I think I really thank God for the friendships that he's given me. I'm sitting here really trying to think of a bad friend that I have had in my life, but I, I honestly cannot think of one. So, wow. yeah. So, 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 so I'm glad I put a lot of premium on my friendships. Yeah. But mm. what do you think? Well, I've had some great friends, I'm not going to lie, but I've also had people in my life who have not been so great. Yeah. And so for me, I think that, um, yes, in my 20s and even earlier, I shouldn't have put so much premium because you get to a stage in your life, you actually um, sort of put so much importance on friendships, even over family sometimes yeah you know and then you later realize that okay that shouldn't have been the case because these people you were always there for you always had their back when it came to time for them to have your back they snatched your back what she mm. said they were not there for you at all mm -hmm. you know so i think that in as much as you you, you need a social network that's mm -hmm. very important mm -hmm. yeah in anything you do that social capital is important but you need to have a good circle of friends mm -hmm. well balanced who are going mm -hmm. to be there but what you should also know is that even that small group of friends, there could be someone in there who is going to hurt you. Mm. But like you said, friendships and f relationships are like that. People hurt you, but yeah. you should know how to always come back and or head them it. back. Head them back, yeah, I'd say. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Let's not. Let's, let's, let's not. Let's okay. Not. Yeah. We are better. We have changed. Given yeah. our lives to Christ. Amen. We're good Amen. people. We're Amen. good people. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, for me, friends, yeah, like I said, I'm an empath. And so I like to generally place, right now, it's, it, I'm a healthy empath. Do you understand? But before, 
you know, I'll go all in, I'll prioritize you. If you need something, I'm there, yeah. ride or die, let's do this. I got <laughs> yeah, gang, 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 gang. <laughs> and yeah, half, more than half of those people didn't show up when I needed them. Exactly. And so, yes, I wish I never placed, yeah, so, so much, much importance, yeah, yeah okay. in friendships. Yeah. Not that I should talk about it. I'm sitting here thinking about some people who have given <laughs> controlled as access, yeah. you know, in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, you know, wh while you have friends, or while I have friends who I know, okay, this, 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 this like every... I, I realize that as I get older, I, I realize the people who need controlled access. Exactly. And people who need full you access. Step, you step back a bit from yeah. some people. Yeah. 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 Others, they are okay to do oh, it, so. Yeah. Also yeah. true. So, also yeah. true. Also yeah. true. Yeah. We're sharing things we wish we knew before we were 30. Today on We Got This Africa, stay tuned. Choosing the right oil makes all the difference. That is why I always choose Frytol. Mm. At Wilma, where Frytol is made, each and every worker wakes up with you in mind. Really? And for the millions of other homes too. There, the experts ensure every bottle of Frytol is rich with great tastes that creates memories to last their lifetime. Frytol is a cholesterol-free oil fortified with vitamin A. Now I know why you cook with Frytol. Yes, Dad. Enjoy great tasting meals with Frytol. Frytol. Love your food. Love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. thirties and you're watching us what are some of the things you wish you knew before you turn 30 and if you are in your 20s you're just in luck because we're still picking sheets out of this bowl and on them we've written some of the things we wish you knew so Emily I believe it's your turn it is indeed it is okay let's, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. let's pick this <laughs> okay okay ha huh. I wish I had taken better care of my skin yeah, yeah we, we've already we've talked about that, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think I get to pick another <laughs> so one. So you pick another one. Yes. Yeah. I Things think put, in common, I think put huh? Toothpaste on my pimples. Toothpaste. Yeah, that's what we're told. Yeah, toothpaste. toothpaste. But it's actually a remedy. Ah, is it? yeah. so it's not a bad thing. No, I nice. see. It's called acne spot treatment. You can do it with toothpaste, tea tree. Yeah. Oh, lovely. If you other stuff. Well, thank you. So it was not bad. No, it's not. Please free go tip, ahead. Free tip. Free tip. <laughs> so I wish I had learned how to pray about money without guilt. Amen. 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 To Amen. That. Amen. All your gettings get money. Yes. yes. There is nothing. <laughs> you have like... not because you ask not. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. Money. I wish above all things that you may prosper, even as thy soul prospereth. God wants us to prosper. Amen. Amen. Yes. Money Amen. and Amen. all things. Free <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> We're not bad though. We're not child of God. Child yeah, of God. <laughs> so yes, money is a good thing true. to have. I mean, yeah. growing up, you hear that money is the root of all evil, yes. and it, it, they, are the poor in spirit. They keep hammering that and yammering what? that. <laughs> <laughs> But this is the kingdom of heaven. So, <laughs> but that's why our spirits, but not for money. We understand yeah, the somehow, thing now. Yeah, if you so are yeah, rich, once you are thought to be evil. No, no, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than, than a rich, rich man, man to enter the kingdom True. of God. And these are the kind of <laughs> scriptures that people push around and throw about yeah. make, to make you feel like, hey, money is not all and everything. Mm. Or you know, you it, need to be humble. You need to be in your. And we 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 confuse humility. With poverty. Yeah. yeah. No, God I does not want us to be poor. I heard God something that if you don't have money. does not mean for us to be That's poor. That's true. If you don't have money, you think that everything is a spiritual problem. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't have money. Exactly. If you don't have Meanwhile, money, you if have you have so the money, you just cash out. And, and people are saying, oh, and, 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 and all vanity is all vanity. But no. So, yes, I really wish that. Please we get money. It's important. About that. Get make money. money. And make Young a lot ladies. of it. Invest <laughs> for your kids. And do not be guilty. Yes. yes. In your Pray 20s, about it. make money. Pray about Father, it. Father, I need 20K. Work for it. 
<laughs> pray about it and work hard for it. Yes. Yes. Make your money and Put enjoy your life. There is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. We need to print on a t-shirt, on a billboard. Get money. Get money. Get money. Get Get money. 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 Yeah. Like help me out. Yes. But I think you need to just pray to God to really? make you rich. rich. Like like because it, it's it's hard to like just pray about money that you just need. Like yeah. you don't need, but just have. You just yeah. have. Yeah. You know, because I realized when I was younger and I prayed about money, it was to be able to meet a certain goal. Yeah. Or, or a need that I had or my family had or and so on. But the truth is, God did not make us to be like to have money only when we need it. Yeah. yeah. In fact, you ought to be able to pray. To have so much money that you will be a financial blessing yeah. for is like, like to the so other people to in your life. His kingdom. Yes. And God and wants also to advance us to his kingdom. About Everything. everything, including money, exactly, including our skin, including like everything, everything you think Look, about. I you tell should you, be able to pray the about day it. I understood the meaning of the scripture, pray without season, mm -hmm. I think my life changed. Yeah. yeah, because you used to think that okay, when it's time to pray, then you go and kneel down by no, your no, bed no, no, at no, night. No. And I could pray. be praying right now in my exactly. head. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like just communication. Even, with God. even just while I'm negotiating like yeah. a contract and praying, God. Please give like tell me the max, maximum these people can give me. Yeah. Because sometimes you go into a contract and where you let me find favor with them. Yes. Favor. Let me find favor with them. Even favor. as I pray for this. Yeah. And here's exactly. The thing. If important. if you push prayer to a particular time, you will never get to pray. No. But if you pray, if you remember something and you pray about it there and then you realize that at the end of the day you would have built up such a momentum of prayer Prayers. because you've been praying about prayer little bank. things throughout, throughout the day. Your day and then day. When you retire during the day and you pray, it's just like a summary of yeah. everything. Exactly. Yeah, I, 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 I really learned how to do this. Like, we used yes. to have a, a thing in our house. Don't worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Instead, pray, pray about, about everything. everything. Yeah. Tell God what you need mm -hmm. and then thank him for all he's done. Yeah. So even when I'm driving to the car park at work, I'm always hoping, I'm always, pr like, I pray to God, like, please let that spot be open because I don't expect at the other side where I have to walk in gravels. Yeah. So I like, I pr and so I just learned how to do it. Just pray with us. I pray about everything. Like, yeah. I pray about the car park. I pray that the toilet should be clean when I'm going in there. Wow. I like, I, I've learned just to pray <laughs> that when Ashaki slays my face, just, <laughs> it should just look nice. Hey. I pray about the most frivolous things. Exactly. And, yeah. and the truth is that, see, prayer works though. It, it does. Works. Like, you just it have to does. pray. I know that it, it works does. because mm -hmm. he, he's got us, right? Yeah. And don't be guilty about your money. No, no, no. Yeah. no, no like, no, no. because sometimes you feel like I'm eating it as the poor people out there, like on the street, and you are here eating water. You can't be God <laughs> in everybody's <laughs> life. Like, yeah. Yeah. But you, should, yeah, you can you do it. Enjoy the good things. Yeah. Enjoy the good things. Good things, good things in life. You, it's a blessing from God. It is. to be enjoyed. My former boss once said this. My former boss, who. I think has also been your boss before. Okay. <laughs> we're once buying foods in front of the building, right? Right. And what we're we buying the foods? <laughs> as we used, as we used to. to. <laughs> and what we're buying the foods? One of our bosses tried to buy some of the foods. And my boss was like, come here. <laughs> You see, you have to praise God. Yeah. God has put in you in a God has put you in a position of leadership, and yeah. you earn so much money. Yeah. And you want to buy foes, spend the money God has given you. Exactly. Because if you don't spend it, you are being ungrateful to yeah, God. You're not even gonna get so more. You, stop buying the foes. You know, people who earn five hundred CDs are buying foes. Yeah. And you that earn seven thousand CDs, you want to struggle with them with them over the this foes. When you can yeah. God will take the money from you. He will give it to someone <laughs> who will use it. Well, someone I don't who think, would appreciate I don't think it. that's always like, true. I don't think like <laughs> what if the thing you've seen that. 20 CD is exactly what you want. Go and buy it from the shop. <laughs> Stop struggling with someone who also has to try to get the same thing and then you're trying to get it from them. But I think the point I'm trying to make is that we need to be able to pray about everything, yeah. money included, because yeah. God did not bring us here to suffer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And He is the King of Kings and He is the provider of all of our needs. Yes. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything belongs to Him. I feel like I'm in church right now. Come on now. <laughs> My right. turn? Your turn. Yes, it's your, yes, turn. your turn. All right. yes. That one. Okay. Okay. I wish I had learned more about my body and what I like. I think we okay, already, we already, yeah, I think yeah. we already okay. covered that. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of overlapping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> overlapping issues. Okay. I wish I had mentorship. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I so wish I had funny. mentorship. That's true. Well, in my 20s, the people I looked up to, because I was a makeup artist, 
the people I looked up to were like makeup artists and you know people in my field mm -hmm. I didn't look up to people concerning like finance and things you know the things that really matter in life, yeah. yeah the things that really matter in life I think I should have broadened my scope you know right. maybe I like this person has financial freedom maybe you know learn how how they they, they come there. out yeah they got there I didn't really do that I was just so my my hobbies took most of my time and I didn't have serious mentorship yeah. so I wish I had done that I really agree on the point of mentorship yeah, yeah. I cannot underemphasize how important mentorship is I, I wish I had had a lot of it if I had some they were not intentional yeah mm -hmm. you know they were not intentional like you have your boss you know yes. you learn from them and then you just move on true yeah yeah so in like manner I would say I had a boss or I had some bosses that I learned from, but mm. I wouldn't say that was a real mentorship situation, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I wish I, I knew things from someone who had already, already walked the path. There. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that you cannot overstate, mm -hmm. you know. It's extremely important, especially for young ladies yeah. growing up in this part of the world. There are so many things that... Uh, as a lady, you shouldn't do this. But you see people forging ahead, yeah. shattering the glass ceilings where mm -hmm. you want to get to. Yeah. You know, and if you had this kind of direction from them, mm -hmm. it's something that would definitely take you a long way, yeah. a yeah. long path. Yeah. So I wish I had some mentorship growing up. Yeah, all yes. true. We yes. don't have to make the mistakes we make if we just learn from the people who made it ahead of us mm -hmm. and know better. Exactly. Yeah. And we have to also offer our services to the younger ladies. So you need up. to have a mentee, mentee. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so so just wrapping it up, what yes. would be your advice to uh, girls, especially in their 20s, watching us right now? Well, one of the things that I really wish I knew in my 20s, in addition to everything that we said, yes. is the God factor. Which we right. can't finish. Yes, is the God factor. I wish, I wish in my 20s I took God more seriously because the thing about God is... Christianity like affects every aspect of your life. Do you understand? You can't just like push God on the side and then and just like as ask him when. for money like we said. No. And then move on. Yeah, and then move him on. And, and when then it's needed, pick him up you know, like an ATM card yeah. that you can just cut out. God, I want this now. No, 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 no. no. You have to like involve he wants to be a part of your life. And so then if you're a young lady watching, I hope that you don't just use God as an ATM card. You actually invite him, ask Add him to your plans. God, I'm going into this endeavor. What do you say about it? Because God has everything to say about everything mm -hmm. about our life. Yeah. And he really cares. So, yes, once you involve God, every other thing sort of falls into place and into line according to his will and purpose. Amen. 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 What she Amen. said. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, I'll tell the young ladies to not be so stuck on timelines. Yeah. Don't think that oh, my life has to pan out in a specific way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I'm in uni. I'm 18 now. I'll be done by 22. Mm -hmm. By 23, I'll be doing my national service. Mm -hmm. 25, I should be married to my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I should have a car. We should be building that house. We should be doing uh, having children by age 30. Mm -hmm. Twins. No. I know, right? With curly hair. One boy, one girl. <laughs> <laughs> dressing them alike and all of that. Life does not work that way. Yeah. You know, so you and need... That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. Embrace life. Yeah. Don't live life like... It's, it's, it's a timetable that you have to work through, you mm -hmm. know. Embrace life. Live each day like it is your last. Just enjoy each day. Mm -hmm. Get to know yourself better. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing more than loving yourself. If yeah. you don't love yourself enough, how is someone else going to, to love, love you? you? Yeah. You know, so that's what I tell the young ladies. Charlie, enjoy your life. What she said. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you, ladies, so much for, for sharing. Thank you for having me. And I hope share. that if you're in your 20s and you're watching us, you've learned a lot today. I really do hope. And to, just to sum it all up, this is scripture that has, has you know, taken me through life. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. And then thank him for all he's done. Because we've got this. Africa. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nash Shakur. Good night. Bye. Although it's far, make you not give up. It only makes us stronger. Whatever you do, do them well. Make you no worry. We go stay okay. We go be alright. No. Inyami. Go chichima. Inyami. Bano fe. Inyami. Go kanjana. Kenya fe. O bano fe. Can you feel? Can you feel? Can you feel?
We got this Africa, proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve to be well.